And like I normally do is I, I try and bring back little stories and tidbits of, of things that happened to us in Botswana, um, where we've been serving the Lord uh, for 20 years. And, uh, you know, Botswana is a very primitive, developing country, and you see some things that are just so sad and really tug at your heart. And just to give you a bit of an idea of what some of the area looks like, this is, um, Botswana is really the Kalahari Desert. And apart from where the Okavango empties into the Kalahari, Everything else is really, really dry and desert-like. And uh, this is just to give you an idea. Now, we lived in a place called Maun, and we were right next to the Okavango. Um, that uh, Okavango Delta was fed by water that fell five months earlier up in the Angula Highlands. And then it would flow down the Okavango River and empty out into the desert. Never, never got to an ocean, it just emptied out into the desert. And a very interesting place it was. Now, um, one time uh, I was driving around in the village looking for a place to set up the gospel tent. Uh, we were having a, a group come over from Canada and the US. Uh, some folks from Boulevard came as well. And, and we, um, we were going to have some gospel meetings, so I was looking for a place where we could set up a tent. And as I was driving in the area of the village, I saw some very interesting tracks in the sand. And I wondered, what, who made that sort of uh, tracks in the sand? And as I got closer, I could not believe my eyes to see an older woman like this woman here who was on her hands and knees trying to go from one spot to the next and she just dragged herself and crawled in the sand and she went you know for maybe a mile or two i don't know but that was her mode of transportation and it was so sad to see this elderly lady who obviously was very poor and poorly dressed on her hands and knees trying to get from one place to the next now, when we were going to have this group come over from the US and Canada, uh, one of them asked me if she could bring a wheelchair that had, had been given to her, and she wanted to bring it to Botswana and see if there was somebody who she could give it to. Well, right away, I knew of this old woman, and it would be a great thing. So um, we hunted her down. It wasn't hard to find her. We just went for those tracks. And, uh, and, and we found her, and uh, she was so thrilled. There's, there's uh, the young lady that got that wheelchair to her. And she was a little bit not all there upstairs either. And she, was, she wanted these sunglasses that, that Linda had. And so Linda gave her some food and, and put the sunglasses on her and, and, uh, and gave her that wheelchair. And that was such a tremendous blessing to her. Um, you know, we were sort of concerned that maybe somebody would sell it, or, you know, some of the family members would sell it and give it to, you know, use the money for booze. But uh, I, I think she was able to keep it. And uh, of course, it still wasn't all that great to move around in the sand, unless it was a four by four wheelchair, but at least she had some form of transportation. 